What's up everyone? Welcome to Portugal. Welcome to Apple Tree Surfboards. Today we're going to just give you a little tour about the factory, uh, show you how we make the boards in our, our, our new facility here in Portugal, and I'll tell you a little bit about the production steps and um, yeah, let's follow along. Let's, uh, let's head in. Well, so here's a little bit of our history of Apple Tree Surfboards as a manufacturing company. So in 2006, we kind of started this journey professionally after building boards for a while as a, as a hobby for friends and family. And me and my brother Joret started to make boards in our parents' back garden. Uh, you can see some pictures here of some of the earlier boards that we've done. Then um, around 2016, we moved to this factory in Rijswijk, a town close to um, The Hague. There's still some videos around from our, our early days in, in Rijswijk making boards. Uh, we quite quickly outgrew that factory, so we needed more space, so we decided to move the operation to Portugal, also to have some more uh, availability of labor and a nicer place to work for, uh, for Joret, especially because he moved here as well. Um, so in 2019, we moved the whole operation to Portugal, to uh, a town close to Sobreiro, close to, close to Mafra, close to Irisaira, and close to the waves as well. And we set up our first uh, professional factory, which back then we thought was like a massive uh, factory, lots and lots of space, we, we could really grow. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately at the same time, we grew way quicker than we could ever imagine. So after even uh, three years, we already completely outgrew that factory and we had to move to something bigger. Now, we didn't want to make the mistake again of getting a factory that was too small for what we wanted to do. So instead, we decided to go big or go home. So we bought this massive building that we see around here. So the Apple Tree surfboards start with the 50K foam. So the 50K foam that we use is our proprietary foam. We're the only factory that can process and use this foam. And the nice thing about it, it's 100% waterproof. So if you ding your board, there's guaranteed no water absorption. It's airtight, so we don't need an air vent plug. And also, the, there is no risk of delamination. Even if you put your board in full sun, even if it's a blackboard, it will not delaminate. So this foam is especially made for our factory. We're the only factory that can use and process this foam. It does, however, require a special CNC machine that we will show you now. And then also the nice thing is the foam is like the packaging that we use. So if you buy one of our boards, it will come packaged in the foam that it's made out of. So first step in the production process is essentially uh, CNC machining. So at Apple Tree Surfboards, we have now five CNC machines in our big factory. We CNC to a really high level of detail. So there is very high consistency throughout the boards and the boards are exactly how we've designed them on the computer. These machines are built and designed in-house. And we do this so we have full control over the machines, one, because the foam is hard to cut and we need our own way of cutting it. And then two, maintenance, super easy. We know exactly how they work. We know if something breaks, we can fix it really quickly. And the machines run almost day in, day out. So after the CNC cut, the board basically looks like this. So you can still see the, uh, the blank that it was made out of but the board is now fully loose, so it's cut on both sides and it's still uh, hanging on to its outside with these little tabs that we leave um, to keep it in here. It's kind of nice transporting blanks through the factory like this because they're quite safe. And you can see the board is like really taking shape. And from here, we do a next step, which is uh, the hand finishing of the, of the product. shaping bay, one of three shaping bays that we have here at Apple Tree Surfboards. As you can see, we have got the like, traditional side lighting, which is really important to show all the little details in the board uh, that you can see with the side light, which you cannot if you have light from the top. This process is really important to really refine the shape. Uh, the CNC machine brings the shape really close to the final product, but we still need this step to fully finalize the nice flowiness of the shape. On the CNCs, we also 
pre-cut all the slots for foil boxes, but also fin boxes on kiteboards and surfboards and inserts. So these are perfectly aligned. So you get a perfect 90 millimeter spacing for your foil box. We use this material, which is a super high density PET honeycomb that gets locked in this slot. And then it leaves the two slots for the fin box that fits perfectly inside. Now this gets built up with layers of carbon fiber under and in. And then with the infusion process, this all becomes one and essentially doesn't move. It becomes one big uh, carbon fiber part. But this is also one of the steps we do here in the shaping bay, making sure that everything fits perfectly and it sits in the board uh, as it should. So when the boards are finished shaping and everything's set to go to lamination, we're actually taking all the boards on racks like this and we move them towards the lamination room. Unfortunately, we cannot show you how the lamination is actually done, but I can explain, so I'll explain it back in the shaping bay. But these boards are ready and they're going to Igor. So Igor, here you go. Bring those boards in and we'll see them when they come back out. Bye. So you've seen the foam. Um, we've told you already the foam that we use is really special, but the other thing that makes Apple Tree Surfboard special is the lamination process. Well, we just moved the boards into the lamination and unfortunately we cannot show the actual process itself because it's one of our trade secrets on how we exactly do it. But explained quickly is that we wrap the blank or the board in fibers, in this case carbon fiber, uh, completely dry without any epoxy resin. Then we press it down using vacuum pressure. So it goes into a bag, all the air gets pushed out and then under pressure, we inject the board with an epoxy resin. And this makes the laminate on the outside compressed really tightly onto the blank. Um, and it gets the ideal ratio between your resin and your fiber. So it makes your board really, really strong, really stiff. And it, it, it takes the optimum strength out of the fiber. So the maximum strength the fiber can offer, you can only achieve uh, with this infusion tech. Also, we can use materials that are otherwise unusable. So we use this PET honeycomb to strengthen the boxes. The carbon fiber is inside the board, really linking everything together, uh, making the total package much stronger, much more impact resistant, and much more durable and much more predictable in how stiff it is and how we can sort of engineer stiffness or flex into any board by using different materials. And we get a super consistent result over and over and over again. Yeah, so that's how we laminate the boards at Apple Tree Surfboards. Again, sorry that we can't show more of this, but uh, we need to keep some secrets, eh? So this is one of the hot coat areas that we have here at Apple Tree. So hot coat is a term that's used actually not in our type of boards, but used to be used in PU polyester boards, but we still use the term for the finish layer that we apply. After the injection, as I've shown you before, the board is still a little rough and it needs this fine finish that we can send into and really bring out the final shape that we're after in the board. So it's essentially a layer of just epoxy resin that gets brushed on the board. Um, to fill all the minor uh, little imperfections that are in the board and just make it a really smooth surface that we can then sand super smooth and find the final shape. So the sanding bays are just next door where we sand and then send the, back bo the board back here. Sometimes gets another layer and it gets back, sent back there. Also the carbon fiber boards all get their color here. So the base layer is always black on the carbon fiber boards, but then we can add color to this final layer. So any board that you order in a color, it's not a paint layer, but it's a, a color added to a layer that we had to apply anyway. So it's not an extra layer on the board. It's just color inside this finished layer that we already do. So this is one of the sanding areas that we have. Sanding is a super, super important step it's, it's not the easiest job. I mean, it's hard to be in, in here all day and stay focused on finishing the board. So I have a lot of respect for the guys doing this job. They work together or they, they're often also the same guys doing the hot coating in the other room. So the boards move back and forth between there and here to get the perfect finish. Um, really high focus, 
finish shaping that board. It's a really important step because you can really screw up a board in sanding. So they need to be focused and really tune in that final shape to get you a perfect board every time. So tough job, but really important in the production process. Yeah, so the final step is the spray room. This is new for us in our new factory. We had a small spray room in our old factory, but nothing compared to the professional spray room we have now. Spray finishing a board is not a necessary step, but it does give you the perfect finish every time. So we invested in building the spray room here uh, for that reason. And also it, it gives us the opportunity to do some other color work for clients that we work for. Um, we use a spray coat, it's like a two, uh, 2K clear coat that's really scratch resistant, so it has a really great finish to the board. Also, it gives us the opportunity to, more, to do more detailed logo work and stuff, so that's why we have this room. Um, yeah, a bunch of really cool boards here just being finished. Some, some nice traditional kite boards in, uh, in glass fiber. There's some more kite boards and some carbon fiber boards over there. And the actual spray booth is in here. So every board gets, uh, when it's fully sanded, gets sprayed, it looks like this, and they just spray it all with, um, with a clear varnish, and then, yeah, again, it gives you a really great result. Yeah, so spray room is also the room where we apply all the logos, all the final detailing, your custom message. If you order the custom, we can write your name on it here. So this really cool uh, gold and black apple that a client ordered uh, really gets finished here. Uh, yeah, little last little details before it goes out. Uh, Almost done. So this is the packaging and final QC. Uh, we, what we do here is, of course, first of all, apply all the traction pads to all the boards, uh, weigh the boards for the third time in the process. So if there's any deviations of the normal weight that we expect, we can take the boards out and check if there's something wrong or, or completely take them out if they're too heavy. We also apply the traction pads here, final checks if everything fits, if the foil box is the, exactly the correct, if the fin boxes are, like the fins fit in the kite boards. Um, and then eventually they move on to packaging area where the, the rack, the outside of the blank that we saw before, comes back so we save the racks from every board that's in production until this stage and it gets folded into cardboard on two sides so it's really strong and well packaged and ready for shipping and straight to your house or to your local dealer that you've ordered the board. Thank you very much for, uh, for visiting the factory and watching this video. I hope you've learned something about how we produce the boards. Um, if you have any questions about any step in the board process or if you've seen something that got you stoked on, on ordering a board, make sure to get in contact with us. We're very easy to find our website, appletreesurfboards.com. Follow the link to our other videos. Follow us online on Instagram. We post a lot of cool stuff about new projects, new boards that we do, new stuff that we're working on. So yeah, again, thanks very much for watching and hope to see you next time at Apple Tree Surfboards.